Okay then, let's take a look at Chapter 4, Maintaining Windows Server 2003. Once we've actually got our server installed and up and running, obviously what we're going to have to do now is just look after it. And not only look after the server, but also look after client machines. Obviously servers, one of their biggest roles is to look after client machines, would you agree? Now then, anybody ever used Windows Update before? Yes. How does it work, Chris? Basically, uh, you go to Internet Explorer. Yep. You select um, Windows Update on the Tools menu, I think. Okay. And basically, it goes to the site and checks and it verifies what updates are required for your operating system, downloads them, and installs them. Excellent. So it goes off to the Microsoft website, yeah. downloads all the installations, and off you go. Cool. Now, if you were in a corporate environment and you had to do that, then say we've got a room of 12 people in the room. As an administrator, would you trust all 12 of those people to go to that update site and do that every day? No. That would be very inefficient. Totally, very inefficient. And it also, of course, relies on them having administrative rights, doesn't it? So you've got to give them administrative capabilities to install updates to their machines. Yeah? So as an administrator, we say to ourselves, well, hang on, I don't trust users going off to the website and downloading all the information. And to be honest, even if I did trust them, do I really want them to do it? Would it be better if I were in control of it? And I could force them to have the updates that I wanted them to have after I've tested them to make sure they don't cause any adverse effects. Make sense? Yes. I've installed updates before on a test machine which have stopped our corporate Oracle systems from working. Now, the company I was working at, the whole company was Oracle. Everything in the company was done with Oracle. So had I have released an update to the whole network that stopped Oracle from working, do you think that could have been a potential problem? Do you think I'd have been in a bit of trouble? Mm -hmm. So the last thing I want is users having the capability to do that. What I want to do is I want to do it myself in a controlled environment. When I'm happy, I can publish it, force that change to all my users, and everyone's happy. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, the way that you do this is you actually use a special type of component that Microsoft supply for you. It's called Software Update Services, and obviously that's the topic of this particular section. The way Software Update Services works is effectively it provides an alternative for you to go and get the updates from. If you imagine you've got your client machine down here, where does the client machine go to in your example, Chris? It would go to the proxy server or some ISIS server to actually connect any to the internet. Okay, so it goes through to the internet and it accesses the Microsoft website. Yes. Cool. So if you imagine here you've got the internet, and on there is the Microsoft website. And obviously what the update client does is goes to the internet obviously through a proxy or however you do the connection, and downloads the updates. What Software Update Services is designed to do, instead of doing this, it removes the client's interaction with the internet. Not completely, obviously they can still browse the internet and stuff, but in terms of Windows Update, it removes that access. It tells the client to not go to the internet, to go to this server here, and this server here will provide the updates. And this server, is course, of course, is known as a what server? SUS server. A SUS server software update services. So how do you think the software update services server gets its updates then? It goes to the Microsoft internet. website. Precisely. It goes to the internet and gets them. So as a result of this, you've got no interaction whatsoever happening between the internet and your user for this particular component. If they're browsing the web, that's a different thing altogether. But for this particular component, there is no access whatsoever for Windows Update to go off to the internet. Make sense? This is what Software Update Services does. Let's think about this. What could this mean then? I've already mentioned the fact that this is going to help you in terms of you giving the ability to now force these updates on people. But what else is it going to mean? Luke? Uh, I was thinking how... I just, actually, I'm not, I don't know if it's going to answer your question, but how, how would the... Uh, the ser well, is, does the server pass on information to the Microsoft website for all the hardware... Well. Operating, sorry, operating systems that, that it's controlling. Well, basically, yeah, it'll download all the updates it requires. Oh, right. But the client, when, the way it works is very clever. Is um, you, you basically, what you have to do, you have to do two things. First off, you have to set up the server component. Secondly, you have to set up the client components. So instead of pointing to the internet, it points to your SUS server. You know, it says two actions you've actually got to perform. Now, what will happen is, though, Windows Update now will, will now go off to this server here as opposed to going to the internet. And as it goes to that server, it'll say, hi, I'm Windows 95, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. What else do I need? You with me? And it'll only download the relevant things for him, or Windows XP, or whatever the operating system may be. Okay? 
Let's think of a real benefit, though, of having this single system. Chris? Basically, it would save on uh, traffic on the, on the internet. Well, basically, your clients don't have to go out to the internet to actually go and get the updates. So cool. just only one server, your SUS server, has to go out. Excellent. How many times are you downloading this information? Once. 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 Here. If you had 400 clients all going to the internet separately, how many times would you have to download the information? 400. 400. Is there therefore 400 possible failure points? Yeah. Of that 400, I guarantee you, categorically guarantee you, probably only 300 of them would work because the other 100 have rare various issues. So if you just have the ability to download it once to your server, then all you have to worry about as an administrator is that link going to the Microsoft website. Is this good stuff? Yeah. yeah. Very, very powerful. Now then, that's the basic concept of SUS. Gives you the ability to update your client machines, and obviously your own machines as well, if you want to publish this to servers, using a single SUS server.